Welcome back, everybody, to Having Coffee with Colada. Today, first time ever, you're going to go on a virtual tour with me. Remember, this is the first time ever. I don't know if anybody else is doing it, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of copycats soon to follow. But first off, before I start, have you noticed this carpet in the back of me? You don't think I'm really laying on the carpet, do you? Talking to you? Come on. I just don't like to hang pictures, so I had him hang a carpet. It's a good-looking carpet. So now you understand why that beautiful carpet's in the back of my head. All right, ready? Adam, are you ready? I am ready. Let's do it, buddy. Colada, colada, grab your favorite brew. Ask a question, he'll answer it for you. The mafia, the mafia, the mafia, the mafia. You better hit prescribe if you know what's good for you. Drinking a cup of coffee with Frank Colada. He'll tell you a lot of, he's Frank Colada. Okay, everyone, we're going on a virtual tour, and we're going back to where it all began with Frank. Check it out, Frank. Grandin Ogden. Yeah, Grandin Ogden. So there we are at Grandin Ogden. This is where it all started, where it all began. Let's go over to your first house, Frank. It's right around the corner from this intersection. The one on May Street? That's it. It's many years ago, but I sure do remember. Let's go take a look at it. It's right here on this block. And there's a picture of you and your yeah. sister. That wasn't on May Street. Well, let's drop down into the map. That was on Grand Avenue. And there's the front of your place. Look at that. It's amazing. There it is. That is amazing. 604 North May. That's yeah, it right here? We used to go down in between the buildings to go to the back. The house was in the rear. It was like a coach house. Oh, let's go take a look at the coach house in the back. Let me just jump out. There's an alley back there. Of course. All houses had alleys. Okay. Let's drop the pin here. That must be the house right there, the house in the rear. Of course, when I lived there, they had a it was across it's our see that's the house there that's all new there that's a new building yeah there was no way houses looked like that back then i mean that's all new and it was right off the corner that's the it. garages even though that's all new all new look at they have cameras up here uh, probably need them now Back then, the camera was a gun of 45. <laughs> if you used this Google software back in the day, you'd been able to see where all the cameras were and how you're going to get into places. Well, first, you got to get up to that, get around that camera, tear it out of there. You probably have to start two blocks away, tear all the cameras out. Okay, let's um, take a look over here at the school you went to for a while with Tony Montefiore. Yeah, they call it Moses something or another, Moses Montefiore. I don't know why they give it that, Moses, but that was the name of the school, Montefiore. It was off of Halstead Street, South Side. I have an address at 1310 South Ashland Avenue. That's well, that, that'd be the main street that run down it, yeah. Makes, that sounds right. Does this look like it? That's all changed. It didn't look that nice then. All, in, all that grass was all, all poor homes and... You know, it was just terrible. All that's new. This is all new then? Oh, yeah, that's all new. Then even, it was streetcars then. You know, we used to go to school on streetcars or stolen cars. Well, let's go back to Grand and Ogden and jump down in here and take a look at, uh, at the street. See what it was like back in the day. You said this is all streetcars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. streetcars everywhere, yeah. Brick, brick roads. Yep, uh, red brick streets. Okay, and right over here on this side of the street, this is where Patsy's restaurant was. Yeah, but that, you know, the building wasn't round like that. They didn't have that grass there. It went up to the corner, Marla. We'll see. They added that section on there, that corner part, I believe. Because you took a turn there and you made a right and you went that way, where that arrow's gone. But his restroom was right there, right there, where it's a snap arrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was right in there. This is it. Yeah, and it was more to the right. You see the, uh, about, uh, what do you call them? Awning? No, that building next door, 
The fire escape. Oh, yeah. Yeah, every building had fire escapes on them. Mm -hmm. So that would have been the joining building. And that's where I used to go sit on there, and I used to watch the Sblatcho boys, the oldest ones. They used to shoot at rats in the back. Vic Sblatcho used to shoot at rats. And I told my uh, mother or father or somebody, they're shooting the guns over there. Yeah, hey, he's shooting the rats. I thought, I thought the you know, rats. Yeah, that, that used to be where a restaurant was. That's where your dad hid uh, to kill the black hand, right? In the back, yeah. That's where my dad was in the back. Now, mind you, the front end's different in that breezeway there. That wasn't, I don't ever remember that being there. Okay. Now, you could tell that's all add on. Okay. But that building itself is a genuine building, you know. What else is around here in this intersection that you remember? Right over there, like Kitty Corner. Yeah, right at Kitty Corner. There used to be a, a, like a hot dog stand there, you know, right in that corner. Over Frankie there. Cavallo, yeah, it looks like there's something still there. Frankie Cavallo owned that. Yeah, Frankie Cavallo, right in there. And you know what? I remember when he started building that thing around there. So that building hasn't changed at all. Now, on top of it, I don't know. I'm sure he's gone. He's dead. But that was the corner where a lot of us met. And right in back of it, see that little to the left? There's a street there. See that street? It comes out near the corner there. There's a street that come. Well, you can't see it from there. You're going to the alley of the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Now, right across the street there, okay. right in the center, yeah, there used to be right there facing. There used to be a restaurant in there, right straight ahead of you. Okay. To the right of that, used to be where it says Starbucks, was a vacant store where we used to play cards in. Card room, we used to have card room there. So that whole structure, that corner changed, except for that building location, actually. So we played cards and there was an old dumpy tavern in there. Yeah. And if you went to the right of that building, right a little further, right there before you hit that corner, there was another card room, that gray building, that gray front or blue, we played cards there also. That was a card room, and I wanted that red brick. Oh, back right there. Now, if you come back to the left of it, I'll show you where Jimmy Cozo had his vegetable. Right there, where its one-way sign is, uh -huh. there used to be a vegetable store, a fruit and vegetable. Jimmy Cozo owned that property, and he put a fruit stand there. I don't mean, you know what I mean when I say fruit stand. <laughs> and that's where he used to sell vegetables. I don't know if he bought the property or commodored it, but that's, we actually control that whole neighborhood. And uh, he got very successful out of there. So go ahead, you can pull away from that thing. Jimmy Pozo was connected to the Alpha Joe Lombardo. Everybody's asking questions about Mad Sam. They like the Mad Sam video that you did. So let's go check out Mad Sam's house. Pretty quick we could get there, huh? Hey, Google. <laughs> you put all the crooks out of business, Google. And there it is. Yep. Nice house. Considering the time and the, you know, the years, a very expensive home. Very expensive home. I bet it still goes for about 250 It sure does. I looked it up on Zillow. I wanted to see if there were pictures of the inside of the house that we could show, but that's what it's worth. How would you like to own that house? If the walls could talk, huh? Oof. They probably sweat every day. All right, here's another place people asked about. Slicker Sam's. Let's drop down into the map. Melrose Park. Yeah, Melrose Park. And that was Slicker Sam's. Yeah. Guy made, I don't know how many, that guy made millions over there. I mean, he used to open up, they closed the street off, and he'd sell uh, clams in the street. Now, uh, some Mexicans bought the place. <laughs> Taco joint. Taco place. I don't understand why, why it didn't last, Slicker Sam's. Frank Sinatra used to hang out there, right? I don't know if he hung there, but everybody went there from all over the world. Known, famous. Slicker Sam's. Hmm. But you know, times change, people die, traditions change, and everything goes out the windows. 
Yesterday's dreams are today's memories or vacant lots. Yeah. I say vacant lots. On Grand Avenue, you had a second house. Yeah, a lot of houses I lived at. Where are we going now? We're going to go to your house on Grand Avenue. The one on Grand Avenue? Mm hmm. You got to drop down the eye view. There it is. Now, that right here, what you're looking at right there, the two doors on each end, all right? Well, actually, they all got two doors on each end. The one with the white door in the middle, that used to be all windows there with a door. That used to be a barber shop. We rented it out as a barber shop. The door to the left of it was the front entrance to our, 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 our place. The door to the right of it was a gangway. You go down that gangway, it separated the two buildings, and there was a stairwell in between the two buildings that would lead up to the second floor. It was a two-story building, and it had, it had the store for rent, it had two apartments in the back, and the one up front on top. The one on top is where we lived, my family in it, all right? That big window is where our living room was, the one to the left of it with that little rinky-dink air conditioner in the window, that would have been my father and mother's bedroom. And then there were two other bedrooms in the house. Uh, it's completely changed. Not, the building, that, you could see they added the bricks in there when they eliminated the barbershop. They must have made more money with the rental as an apartment. And in the back, there was a, a yard. And then in the back of the yard, there was a garage. And I think he's going to take you for a little... Look at it. You can still see it, not it, but there it is. There's the yard. No. Right there. Yeah, that. Turn around. That's the garage. Of course, that's a new garage. That garage didn't look like that. It had two rinky dink doors on each end. But you could see the roof right behind the garage. If you could drop lower, there's the backyard. See the backyard? That hasn't changed. And that little grass walk ramps, I can, I'm surprised they left that there with that building they built up alongside of it to the right. See the building, that oh, big, that's one. all new, yeah. That's a big old building. They left that grass there. That's part of, I guess, part of the property line. And they left that there. And well, that was nice of them. They could only build that far up. What was funny is you see that white building there? That's the, apart, that's the apartment building my family owned. There was also windows on the side of it, but they got, I guess they got closed off and they built that big building up to it. They just don't give a shit what they do, people. But that's the top of the roof, roof of the garage. And they did something to that building next door. There never was that roof that went all the way across that garage. Yeah, see? That's all no. All that's no. Yeah, that was an old rinky-dink garage there. And it was always there, a big garage, come to think of it. That was always there. Now, of course, the trash cans were 55-gallon drums, not these modern stuff. They had, to, they had to lift those big drums? Big steel jump, 55-gallon. Oh, yeah. Hmm. My uncle used to do that for a living. He loved the job. Yeah, he used to say, people try their gold away, their their junk away, and he says, and it wound up being my gold. Yeah. One person's trash, another person's treasure. Let's go back to the front of the house. Everybody's been asking where you, exactly you and Tony met out there on Grand Avenue and where you guys had your little fight with the shine boxes. Yeah, it wasn't too far from the front of the house. I asked your brother what this bar is down here that was... Down here, he told me the yeah, name. Yeah, it's been I there for years now. I had it written down and I lost it. <laughs> yeah, it's not the Evergreen. No, that's another bar. That bar's been there for years. I can't think of the name of it. And I know a friend of mine used to live upstairs from a, and his name was Drury, Ron Drury, I believe. He died at a young age, sixteen. He was killed in an automobile accident. We're about a block down. You and Tony met. Yeah, so keep on going. Things. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. 
Mind you, there was all streetcars in there. So it was all brick road? Just before you got to Elmwood Park, which is only a few blocks straight ahead, it would change into a suburb. And if we could see a street sign, I could show you. Let's see. As soon as you get to Harlem Avenue. Uh, what's... North, 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 that's got to go further down. Are you going the right way? I think so. Go ahead. We're heading west. Can't pick up a street sign, huh? No, there's one coming up right here. No, you know, right on the corner. Here, Harlem. Okay, back up. A little bit back. Little bit, no, no, back. Oh. Jesus, spin the camera on the other way. Alec. <laughs> Sorry. All the way across from Trace. Across from Chase. A little bit more. Right there. You see where it says, <laughs> let's see. Al three. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Another Mexican giant. That used to be a, a lounge. It used to be called Colonial House Lounge and Restaurant, right there. That whole corner. I could see there's nothing there no more but this place. And we used to hang in there. On this corner, there was no driveway there. Oh my God, that has changed. And all those guys used to stand in that corner every night. And we used to give the cops the fingers, fight in that corner, park our cars illegal. So much shit happened in that corner you can't imagine. And there was a lounge there. And you know something? We never robbed no stores on that corner around there because we hung over there. Why would we want to bring heat, heat over there? But uh, that's right across the street to the right at a colony house would be uh, Elmwood Park. I could see the neighborhood is turning into Spanish. It's amazing. Right in that empty lot there, that would be Elmwood Park that you see it. They used to be placed five, seven, and nine, a woman's, a woman's clothing store. And it was right in the corner there. And one day, Tony and I decided to rob it. Now, remind you, that's the Elmwood Park side. And we burglarized it. We went through the, there was office buildings above it. <clears throat> so what we did was we went in the hallway going upstairs to the office buildings. We punched a hole in the floor and dropped into the clothing store. Loaded up all the clothes and clothing bags. And then we opened up the rear door and we let the alarm go off and we loaded it in a, 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 a van, a cargo van. And we took off with it. And so that was one of the robberies on the Elmwood Park side. So we didn't get no heat from that. Elmwood Park police had to take care of that problem. Harlem and Grand. Yeah. It's a whole corner change. Even to the right over there. That buildings were all all up to the corner, all up to the street. Now they set them back in. It's all changed. Come up, Brad. It's all changed. It's amazing. I would never know it if I would drove down there. They knocked buildings down. As I said, yesterday's dreams are today's empty lots. Unbelievable. Yeah, but they tore a lot of stuff down there. It's sort of sad. I mean, we hung up and down the street. This is like a main street on Harlem Avenue. We had restaurants on that street. That bank, that Chase Bank, that was never was there. That was the drugstore. And then there was a newsstand, a paper stand, where that fire hydrant was. They sold papers out of it, paper stand. That whole block was loaded with buildings. Back to back. They knocked all the buildings down. My God. They're no, half of them are no. You can see they rebuilt around them or built up them. Yep. Yep, it's all changed. Well, you got an idea if you ever go there, what was there? The Colony House restaurant, very famous restaurant. Spent many, many days and nights there, us guys. Many, many days. It was a 24-hour restaurant. And the guy that owned it, he was friends with... Uh, uh, Jack Cerrone. We had a lot of problems because of that restaurant. Because sometimes when, when our friends didn't obey and they start fighting in there, they get whistled in the next day by the outfit. And one guy in particular was told, Joey Hanson, the next time we hear your fucking name, there's going to be only one noise that's going to be heard throughout the city. 
And that's going to be the death of you, Joey. So you either move or stay. A week later, Joey left. He moved to California. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. These are interesting ones. You're really going to enjoy them. Don't get scared of me now. Remember, I'm an old man. I can't hurt you no more. All right? Enjoy. Have a good day. Peace. Bye the cup. Thumbs.